Welcome back to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, one of the things I want to talk about is um, upgrading the, the SEMA uh, X5 series copter, so uh, or quad. So one of the things, uh, first and easiest things to modify, as I did with the X8, is the battery. So the, the X5 comes with a 500 uh, milliamp per hour battery. And uh, you can see it's pretty, some pretty small little package. It's a little bit smaller than a piece of chewing gum. So what I did is I ordered these ca caution lithium ion batteries. So uh, I ordered several of these, and they, these just came. So uh, you're seeing them first time I am. So I want to open them up. And uh, so there seems to be two boxes inside a box. I'm not sure exactly what I bought. Actually. I mean to be honest. Um, so inside the one box, I have uh, looks like uh, uh, some sort of charger and, and cable, and um, in the other box is the battery. Now these are 1,200 milliamp per hour batteries. And so they're actually a fair bit bigger than the stock battery, if you if you can kind of see these. Um, so it's a bit more. So let's see if it fits inside the SEMA's X5's belly. Ooh, it's a snug fit, but yes, it does fit. So I'm not going to plug this in. I just want to see, get this in, and show you the door close. If I can get it close, so it does fit in the belly. Um, one of the things I do have is have to get a little scale so I can weigh this stuff for you guys. Um, so, but anyways, uh, with that in there, let's open up another one and see what we got. See if it works the same in here. So, again, we got our battery and then our battery. Uh, then I'm trying to figure out what this is kind of a weird plug to go in there because obviously these must be a single cell and these connect here so there's got to be some other magic in this this box so let's see what magic we have in here so we got another battery and I got another battery so I've got, what, four, five batteries, and this interesting connector, which I have no idea what it plugs into. Is there anything else in here? Huh. Nope. Don't have anything else except these connectors. Now... These do have the same connectors as the stock battery to plug into this, this SEMA unit. So this obviously plugs into here. And I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Nope. I didn't miss anything. All the boxes are empty. The package is empty. So I have no idea what this weird thing plugs into, so you can kind of see that there. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming I can use the regular charger to, to trickle charge these, so it's not a big issue. But, uh, yeah, I really don't know what the, the logic is behind that. I'm going to have to go do some homework. So, uh, anyway, so you guys can see what I, I sort of got. I'll put the link to this below. Um, it wasn't very much money, and the, with the you know 1,200 milliamp per hour battery life over 500, I mean that's going to be a substantial increase in in flight time um, over the two. So yep, 3.7 volt, 3.7 volt, uh, 1,200 milliamp. So I mean this battery is almost triple triple the the power of these batteries. So. Um, Hoping to get some good flight time out of it, especially, you know, bearing the camera, weight of the camera and stuff. It is is a bit heavier than when I put this in between these two. It's probably about twice as heavy. Um, but So anyways, you've just seen the unboxing in real time and this strange thing. And 
I'm not sure what it all plugs into. So, hey, maybe if you happen to know, hit me up below. Um, if not, I'll probably do something follow-up or I'll put comments below in the future once I figure out how or what this was supposed to plug into. Because I'm assuming that there should have been some kind of charger that came with this, um, that this white end plugged into. And again, oh, oh, here it is. I almost told the fib. Wow, okay. Woo, that makes me feel better. Woo, good, ah. So, here's how it plugs in, and then these simply just plug into here, like that, and like that, and you sort of get the idea, then the batteries just plug into there. Wow, that makes me feel better. I was getting kind of, kind of concerned. I may have got ripped off, so I'm happy now, so that's a good thing. So anyways, another lesson. Make sure you check the boxes, because I thought I did check all the boxes to make sure that they were empty, so this was uh, stuck in the bottom of one. It, it is pretty light, so. Anyways, um, looking forward to using these batteries. Uh, again, as I start doing some of the field trials and that, um, you, you won't see me do a whole bunch of out-in-the-field stuff. There's a ton of guys out there that are doing it. I, I'm going to talk about more of the bench stuff, more of the actual drone video and video production stuff as we get going, as I get into this a little bit more, rather than just, hey, watch me fly a drone, because at the end of the day, you guys all can go out and fly your own drones and have a good time doing that. My goal with this is to help you have a better time flying your drone than rather than watching me have a good time flying my drone. Uh, if you have any specific suggestions or comments, hit me up below. Happy to read them. Happy to correspond with you, answer any questions I can. Or if you want to give me some advice, I'm always happy to take advice. So, hey, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, a lot more coming, comments below, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.